Only with six, if your phone dies, you feel cut off from just about everybody. So imagine what that feels like for a law enforcement officer in an Arizona border county. ABC 15's Navita Fergani is live in the newsroom. And Navita, what changes are they trying to make here in Cochise County? Well, Steve, the sheriff's changing the way deputies are able to communicate, which he believes will keep them safe and will prevent criminals from getting away. They're getting smarter in their tactics, in their methods. And staying one step ahead of the illegal activity crossing over into Arizona is a 24 hour job for this undercover investigator. We keep an eye on, on it and we keep our ears open. At any moment, things could change. Any day that we go to work could be dangerous. Radio communication is a key component in keeping law enforcement safe while they're tracking some of the most dangerous criminals. They do get desperate, they do get crazy, they do resort to being violent. Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniels tells me an updated radio system could make the difference between life and death. Sometimes we're alone. We can't talk to certain parts of our county. And when there is no communication, the bad guys win. We were chasing smugglers here on the east side. We had to back off on that because it got so the officer safety outweighed the mission and the fact that we couldn't talk to our, our deputies anymore. That is bad. That's why Daniels is excited about an $11 million federal grant to upgrade their radio communications. We've always had bad to good radios down here, and now we're looking for good to great. The system would allow them to communicate with federal and local agencies. It will also mean radios will now work in remote areas where officers currently are in a dead zone. So if a deputy is in trouble, help can get to them much faster. And the sheriff is in the process of upgrading all of the radios in the department, and he's hoping the recent visit from the Secretary of Homeland Security will bring more resources to rural areas along Arizona's border. Steve? Yeah, we hope so. We, it, it's terrible to think that those guys can even talk to each other at times. Uh,